Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bear with me because I am looking a little funny right now because I am almost done editing this video. I just need to film this intro, film the outro, add some background music, and the video is set for me to upload on YouTube. Really want to do it today. Today is June 23rd and I filmed, the last time that I filmed um, clips for this whole video was the weekend like the monday after memorial day or the tuesday after memorial day i believe so it's been a while obviously there's so much going on in the world and i've definitely taken a step back from a lot of things to just regroup myself and my thoughts and feelings about everything what i will say is that black lives matter they've mattered all this time even though um society doesn't doesn't treat them with the same respect and justice that other um groups receive like white people for example but anyways today's video is not going to be focused on that this everything that i filmed was a while ago um before any of this happened it was during quarantine and coronavirus that's another thing today i think on texas i'm from texas if you didn't know you can tell from my shirt but um we reached like five thousand new cases in texas so just because we're tired and bored of coronavirus doesn't mean it's going anywhere it's still here um so just take care of yourself and take care of those around you and i think this video is perfect for this time because no matter what is going on in the world you do have a little bit of control of what happens in your personal life like eating um and I know that a lot of people don't right now have the money for groceries, don't have the money for food and just eating what they can. So I'm like, it's even hard to film this intro because I'm trying to be sensitive. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like no matter what I'm, I say right now, like it can be twisted in a different way. So what I will say is that welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is based, is gonna be the shakes and breakfast foods that I eat for breakfast and that I enjoy in my healthy, um, high protein, balanced diet. That is what it is. And I do treat myself. So I think this is a very doable diet. I've been on, it's been a year since I started this whole health journey and I've learned a lot. That's why I'm making these videos. If you haven't seen my last video, I highly recommend you watch it. It's about where i shop for groceries and what i get at grocery stores so definitely watch that i'll leave that link down below but i'm gonna re i'm gonna say again black lives matter um if you don't agree you don't agree but you don't have to watch my videos and you don't have to support my channel if you do not want to but at that i also want to say that we finally reached like 100 subscribers which i'm so happy about and i know a lot of other people watch these videos but aren't subscribed so please please um subscribe if you can just because it means even if it's something so small, it doesn't mean a lot to me that you are, you know, being supportive of this channel and the content that I create, which I do not make any money off. I really, this is really a hobby for me. So yeah, um, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Like I said, um, no matter what is going on in the world, you have, you still are able or should be able to make choices for yourself like what you consume and yeah how you let things affect you so that's all i'm gonna say because then this intro could be very very long so if you want to see what i eat for breakfast and keep on watching this video for this protein shake slash smoothie we're gonna be taking the simple truth unsweet and vanilla almond milk we're gonna pour a cup of that and we're gonna take a spoon or a scoop of this protein powder. I forgot which one it is. I'm going to leave it on the screen here in a second. After that, I'm going to be taking a banana that was about to go bad. I just went ahead and used the whole banana. You don't have to use the whole banana. This is what I just did because I didn't want it to go to waste. Um, and obviously, I want to get more full. So obviously, you see that we put milk, which is low calorie. Then we put protein um then this carb and now a healthy fat that also has protein we're going to take a tablespoon of this winko creamy peanut butter and i'm just going to you know put it in there you do use my fingers but it's okay i did wash my hands and i'm the only one who's going to be drinking this so i think that is okay and then i'm going to be using um blender that my dad bought a while ago it's the oster blender i think i used the fruit smoothie option just because nothing in this was frozen so it takes like 
I would say the most 10 seconds to blend. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. I love it. Then I took uh, this plastic cup and I poured it. You do need like a taller cup just because this does make a lot. Um, and you do want to make sure that you put water in the blender after you're done with it or else it's going to be very hard to clean because of the protein. So now you're going to see me try this. I don't know if this is the first time I made it. I don't think so, but it is so good. It tastes just like a smoothie you would buy like at the mall or something. For this next one, we're going to be using that same blender. Like always, this is the only blender that I own or my family owns. I'm going to be taking this Dole Pineapple Dunk container. And I'm getting out the measuring cups right now, just washing them, making sure they're good. I'm going to be using the cup, the one cup measuring cup. Oh my gosh, why is that confusing to say? But anyways, I'm going to take a cup of water straight from the sink. I don't really mind it. Then I'm going to be taking that same protein powder from before. We're going to be taking one scoop of that. Actually, two scoops of that. Then we are going to, wow, my camera is so shaky, but that's because it's just my phone. But anyways, I try to get better at these kitchen videos. Here I am just washing a few strawberries, and then I take two strawberries, actually, into the blender. I don't even cut them up. I just take off the leaves, and that's about it. Then I'm going to be taking that pineapple chunk thing I was talking about earlier and I think we're going to pour half a cup of that. That does have um, added sugars in it or it does have a lot of sugar so that really gives this um, smoothie slash shake a lot of flavor. Oh, I accidentally <laughs> poured some. That's okay. Um, then we're going to clean that mess that I made up and uh, just a little and then we're going to put the lid on these are very easy shakes they take less than five ingredients honestly i'm gonna put it on there i believe the yeah i think those um strawberries were frozen so i put the frozen saying this time i actually kind of showed you guys um you want to do that for about 10 seconds Then after the time's up, we're going to take it out, and apparently I was smelling this because it smelled super good, um, and I thought it was going to taste very good too, and wow, ignore my little faces I was making, but we're going to use this clear glass, which I always have to double, you know, clean out just because I'm picky and weird like that. We're going to pour it into this cup, and there's going to be leftovers, but I'm going to have that later. I look so crazy right now, but this is so good. It tastes like sherbet, like. It tastes like a pineapple um, strawberry ice cream shake. Because that powder is vanilla flavored. It's like vanilla ice cream flavored. Highly recommend. So good. So creamy. And it's all very tropical. I love it. We are about to make some protein pancakes on days that do not feel like eat, drinking a shake for breakfast or I don't feel so I'll do either protein pancakes or I'll drink or eat some of the cereal. But for today we're gonna be doing this. I'm just gonna do a voiceover for this next part while I do this. We're going to be taking our handy dandy measuring cups. I believe this was half a cup um, of this mix and it makes about three, I think like four inch pancakes, which is great. I think that's perfect for me. Obviously you can make more if you wanted to. And I don't really show this, I think, or maybe I do. Um, this is what it looks like. And I'm just taking a scoop full of that or that half a cup of that. Or maybe it's a third of a cup. I'm not exactly sure, but it's on the box and I just follow exact, the exact recipes on the box. So yeah, it looks like half a cup to me. Then I'm going to be dumping that into my mixing bowl, which is just like a cereal bowl. But that's fine. This It's big enough for what I'm doing, which is just one serving.
On the back of the box it says if you use some milk and some eggs that this is going to be more protein. It's obviously going to be more calories too, but that's fine. This, get, this was like a very big breakfast for me. So I poured um, or I filled that cup that I had, that measuring cup, with the almond milk that we used in the other um, shakes that I showed you guys. Then we're going to be taking these Great Value um, eggs. I think they're large eggs. And we're going to be cracking, I believe just one and cracking it into our mixing bowl just like so then we're going to be taking this i think it's a larger medium whisk and we're going to be whisking it together i'm sorry that i didn't really film this it's i don't really know how to get like aerial shots by myself and i kind of made a mess but that's fine um but i think you know what mixing looks like i'm kind of still showing you guys and i think at the end when i am done i do show what the bowl looks like or what the consistency looks like you don't want it to be too liquidy and you don't want it to be too thick it has to be like a good medium so you can make some good pancakes <laughs> like cooking at on my stove top at like six or six and a half so i'm showing you guys that i'm gonna be using this pam original cooking spray and i'm just gonna spray my pan this is my very beat up pan we finally got new ones so yay but this is probably one of the last times you see this very beat up pan um then we're gonna be taking you know one of these little spatulas so we can flip our pancakes i'm gonna put that to the side kind of cleaning up a bit here. Then I'm taking my bowl and putting it next to my pan. Then we're gonna be using this one third cup so we can grab the batter and pour it into the pan way easier and at a more consistent pace or way, I don't know. <laughs> I'm carrying all the other stuff that goes in the fridge back into the fridge. I really like cleaning up as I go sometimes because then it just becomes so much at the end of it. Here we have two pancakes that are already done. So I'm kind of showing you guys once I've got the hang of it. You want to wait for the pan to like heat up a little more just so it's so much easier to uh, flip when it's brown and ready. And I just like finding them up even more. I just like them to be very thin for some reason. Um, I don't know. I really like crepes, so maybe that's why. Then you have my, I made my little stack of three and I'm kind of showing you guys and prepping it. <laughs> some strawberries I just cut them let me show you just cut them this way and then I just cut them in slices like this and I cut them those circles in fourths and they end up looking like this so I'm gonna top my pancakes off with that and some frozen blueberries and honey I think because blueberries from Walmart just gonna grab one two three four five just five ish like seven between the pancakes i'm gonna be putting honey and then on top i'm gonna put nutella and then the fruit the honey i'm using is from kroger it's the clover honey so we've got the three pancakes they're like one two three maybe like five well like six inches thick six inches wide I'm gonna put the biggest one on the bottom. Just doing a slight drizzle. I'll do, I'll show you guys this one. Just something light, like that. The fruit's gonna definitely give this flavor as well as the honey and the Nutella. Then I'm tapping that. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of this. On top, not that much. Maybe just do, just do like a Z. Now we've got some Nutella. We do not own butter knives, not sure why. Probably should buy some soon. Let me check this. Yeah, I always like checking the day on stuff just because you never know. Okay, so I'm gonna take this much, I think. And I'm just gonna spread it on 
my pancakes. Looks so pretty. Okay, this is the prettiest I've made these pancakes, I think. Now I'm gonna lay. Sorry that this is not the best angle, but it's kind of hard to do this by myself. Um, laying the strawberries. So far today, it's like 12. This is my brunch. I woke up like at 10. I was in bed until 11. Then I was talking to my family until 12. It's current. And then I started cooking like at 12. It's 12.30. So this is my brunch for the day. These are some protein pancakes like you saw with some honey, Nutella, and fruits. So this is pretty much my breakfast and lunch combined for the day. After I'm done, you know, eating, I like to log everything into the Fitbit app and then I'll see how many calories and I'll probably um, try to post that somewhere on here so you can tell as well. So pretty. I'm just going to clean up out here so it looks super nice. Oh, I still have more strawberries. Wow. I think I outdid myself. Looks something like this. Looking back, there's some very chunky strawberries, but that's because I was in such a hurry and I was so hungry. I was barely eating and it was after 12, so bear with me. But for another meat breakfast, I'm gonna start eating are these Kodia cakes oatmeal on leash. It has made the flavor is maple and brown sugar, it has 14 grams of protein, 230 calories, um, 12 sugars, and fibers, fat. This is gonna be my breakfast for today. So I've never made this this way. I've had, I like oatmeal, but I've never had it in this type. So it says to remove, seal the lid. Add one third cup of milk till oatmeal is covered. Stir well and heat. Use the water because I feel like, you know, there is flavor in here. So I'm gonna fill it up two thirds. So pretty much just covers the oatmeal. Then it says, stir well. And then heat for 30 to 45 seconds. That's super fast. And I'll just do 30 seconds. Let's see what happens. It looks so crazy, so don't mind that. It looks good and it smells really good. Since it's already flavored, I'm not gonna. I mean, I could put like fruit and stuff, but I'd rather not. And on camera, because I've never tried this one before. Before I eat that, I like having a cup of water. So I'm going to drink half of this. And I'm going to have this shot. This is from RW Nuts and Family. I'll put it on the screen or in the um, link below or something. And it's the apple cider vinegar shot. I've tried to drink apple cider and teas, but it's disgusting. I hate it. So maybe this will make it more doable. And since it's just a shot, I feel like it'll be easier. It has 10 calories, two carbs. That's pretty much it. Um, but yeah. I'm going to drink half of this, drink this, and then eat my breakfast. I do want to know what it tastes like. I feel like most shots have so much ginger that it just tastes like something spicy and sour. I definitely need to do my nails again. They're all chipping. That's besides the point. I can smell the vinegar. Oh, I'm already treading this. Ah, uh, uh, uh. 
it's so strong I just cannot I drank like half of it but this apple cider vinegar is disgusting to me like it's just no I bought a huge bottle I need to give it to someone because but maybe I could do this bottle like once a month because it's just disgusting. I hate it. Mm. This is gonna hit well after this. I'm gonna close my nose. Ugh. 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 You can just taste the vinegar so much. Oh my god. I'm not even like exaggerating. It's it's potent. It's very strong. Any I'm gonna drink some water because like I said, don't mind me. I literally just woke up. I need to wash my face. I'm gonna shower actually. I think I'm gonna work after this and then have my um post workout, which will be my morning snack. And I'll be ready to you know shower and go on with the rest of my day. Mmm, it's good. It's really good, actually. I don't know if you, when you guys were babies, your parents um, gave you that Gerber oatmeal or cereal, like formula or whatever that was. It just tastes like that, and I love that. This is a 10 out of 10. Great right on the go as well. This is still burning my throat a little. And I didn't know this is before, but it said it's crafted with 100% whole grain, so that's great. Now I'm done with that, and my stomach is a little confused right now. Uh, this past weekend was Memorial Day, and I ate bad. So <clears throat> when I then my stomach just hates that when I do that so that's why I just like to eat like you know little cheat snacks and meals throughout the week because it doesn't make me feel so bad about how I'm eating and it doesn't make my stomach upset like right now I just upset sometimes I like feel cramps in different areas so I've had to take some medicine for that <sighs> just to get my digestive system back you know to regular programming and that's why I did drink this which oh if you want to try apple cider definitely try this but this is not for me now that you've seen some shakes that I like to drink and some foods that I like to eat I did go ahead and leave all the nutritional stuff for the shakes only down below because I, I was going to do all the food, but that is a lot of work. And that's something that if you're trying to eat healthier and if you're going to be um, keeping track of the calories that you intake, then you really need to start practicing how to do that. And it's honestly not that hard. It might get annoying sometimes, but it's for you to know how many calories your body is burning and how many it's not and that's how you're gonna be gaining weight um but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up for me comment anything that you want to see next next for sure is gonna be lunch and then obviously dinner um but those are probably gonna take me even longer to edit we'll see because i have some random clips all over my phone and laptop so i'm really trying to organize it all i do have a current skincare routine video i'm gonna edit and an everyday makeup video that I'm going to edit um but yeah let's just bear with me and during this very crazy time I encourage you all to use your voice because it matters and it does make an impact no matter what you've been told before vote if you can and yeah subscribe if you haven't already because we already hit 100 subscribers and I think I will do a giveaway for that I I promised that a couple of videos back I believe so now that we have reached it I have to figure something out but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye.